Sports presents Red Wolves Live. What's going on, everybody? I am Charles McCary. Welcome to another edition of Red Wolves Live. Now, Arkansas State was 2-0 for the first time since 20 or 2008. And as a prize, they had to take a trip up to the big house to take on the defending national champs, the 1-1 one one Michigan Wolverines. It's the first time that these two teams have faced off. The Wolverines looking to rebound after a blowout loss to Texas last week. The Red Wolves looking to start the season perfect. First quarter action, and Howe was in the building. He had a great time. First quarter action, Rainer swings it out to Ely. And he'll get upfield and get hit out of bounds. Yellow flags came out, but A-State would not be able to capitalize. And Michigan would make them pay. Mullins finds a lane and goes 30 yards to the crib. A team up north on the board, first 7-0. Next Wolverines possession, Warren looking to go to the air, but Char, oh, Char, Char Willikins gets the interception the first of his career and was set up this field goal by Kloon Van Andel. Red Wolves on the board. Michigan takes over, Warren going back to the air, drops back, but the Red Wolves are on the prowl. Jaden Jones gets the sack, but later in the drive, Donovan Edwards finds some room up the middle. And he's going to power his way into the end zone. Wolverines up 14 to 3. Then later in the second, Michigan's running game was dominant all day. And they're getting back into the paint. Mullins finds his second one on the day. And A State would be down 21 to 3. Here's that run right here, diving into the end zone. But the defense would force another turnover in the second. Check this pick out from Travion Thomas. He's going to dive, scoop this one up off the ground and get the interception for the Red Wolves. But they would go down, go into the half down 18. To the second half we go. Michigan comes out throwing. But Warren picked off again. The defense was ball hawking today. Dante Joyner would get the pick. And that would set up the offense with great field. But Jana Rayner would give it right back to Michigan as he was trying to hit Adam Jones in the back of the end zone as picked off by Makari Page. That's Jalen's third INT of the season. And the Michigan run game would make the Red Wolves pay. Orgy pitches it out to Mullins and his, he'll pick up 38 big yards. He was over 100 yards on the day. The next play, Orgy rolls out and finds his tight end, Hanson. He'll get six. Wolverines extend their lead. Then we get our first look at UCF transfer Timmy McLean at quarterback, and he'll find Reginald Harden wide open on the outside, and he'll get the Red Wolves' first touchdown of the day. Later in the fourth, Timmy shows off some magic, avoiding the sack, spinning out, and find Harden again. He'll make a move, and then he'll go stretch Armstrong to get into the end zone. Take another look at this, man. Six to five, the connection cuts the lead down to 10. And that's how the game would end. Unfortunately, Arkansas State suffers their first loss of the season, 28 to 18. The Wolverines run game was dominant today, rushing for over 300 yards. Rainer finished 19 of 33 for 140 yards and one interception. Defensively, Char Willikins had five tackles and an interception. Coach Jones was not happy with the execution today. When we executed, we moved the football. And when you play a team like the University of Michigan, your margin of error is very, very small. They're going to force you to execute. So I didn't think we had discipline to execute. We had two missed field goals that were catastrophic. You need to make those field goals. We didn't have very many explosive plays. It's hard in today's world of football. Well, again, you see the experience. He led us to two touchdown drives. You know, he managed the game. He made the throws that he needed to make and he was able to run the football. And he did it with, you know, some different individuals up front in the line of scrimmage. They controlled the football, you know, from a critical down execution. They were 9 out of 12 on third downs. That goes to controlling the football. So in order to move forward and be the team that I know we can be, we're going to need to generate explosive plays. We're going to be able to get off the field on third down. And we got to be a team that executes and has discipline to execute. And that's the frustrating thing is we're 10 for 11, we're 9 for 11 and right now we got some blinking lights on the field that we got to get corrected that's our job as coaches now a state has another top 25 test they're headed to iowa state next saturday at one on espn plus